What's up, YouTubes? Danny with Swamp and Stomp back again. Um, good morning. Today's October 8th, and uh, this is an area that I hunted last season, and I saw a nice buck. Another buck that I saw last season is gone. I saw that he got shot, but um, I had a lot of does and a lot of activity in this area, so I figured I'd come in not get too far off the road and just do an observation sit to see what's uh, what might be coming through here if anything at all so far it's been really quiet it's been kind of a foggy morning um, we got in here pretty early but it took me a little while to get set up this is my very first sit out of my arrow hunter merlin um, i'm pretty excited about that we just got these in a couple days ago it's a new product that arrow hunter put out so you guys uh, are interested in that you can use swamp 10 for 10 percent off make sure you check out the giveaway in this little link up here i'm kind of overlooking a palmetto patch and then it backs up to an okamic right over here and then it's basically like a bowl it's a big loop and it's all palmetto patches here in the middle and okamics all the way around on the other side of the road over here there's some private property Last season, I, I sat there and I, over, I was overlooking this side and the private property, and I saw a nice. Um, it was a, it was a spike, but it was a pie ball buck. So if he made it, that'd be really cool if we can see him again. He wasn't legal at the time, so he may have made it at least to get some footage of him. Cause I think those those pie balls are really cool. Let's see what happens. Nine fifty-five, so I'm gonna go ahead and slowly back up, and I gotta get all these sticks down and everything. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do for this afternoon. All right, four thirty-two, and four thirty-two p.m. We're heading in for the afternoon sit. Um, we're still in the same place, the same management area that I was at this morning, uh, but this time I teamed up with Mark, and he's gonna be my camera guy, so get to be hands-free. <laughs> um, found a little spot here with some rubs. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can find a good spot to set up on. Second day of the hunt, we did not see anything yesterday, but nobody really did. There was only uh, a single small buck, a doe, and a hog harvested, which is pretty abnormal for this area. So we're kind of hoping that it'll be a little more productive today. Going back to the spot where we set up that camera, we know there's a big buck, so. Feeling pretty rough. We had a You're making you listen to that? bit of a fiasco setting up yesterday. So I'm pretty exhausted. Danny's being a So it's about 
seven, and uh, I'm up here in the spot that we set up yesterday, and I don't have a bow. I was supposed to be a camera guy from work, but uh, his, his climbing method didn't work out this morning, so he's down on the trail. I'm just doing the plane. So I was, I was talking there, and the airplane came by, so I started messing up my audio. I stayed looking around this field and I ended up seeing a deer on the other side of the field. I think I got it on video, I'm not sure. Alex is about 300 yards over from where we're at. And we really haven't seen much aside from the deer that I just saw. So we're uh, switching spots. We're moving over to where we saw that buck rubbing on that little branch earlier. We're gonna try to make a move on him and get a little bit closer. Look, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get an opportunity Either this afternoon or you know, tomorrow morning. So, let's see what happens. We're, uh, we're in a pretty sweet spot. It's kind of like a little island in the middle of a field. There's a bunch of trails coming through here, lots of big tracks. And, uh, we're hoping he comes back through. Hopefully we at least get to see him and then we'll make another move on him. But this is a big buck. This is not, this is not a buck you just get willy-nilly. So we usually don't really target single bucks, but I'm giving it a try. Tomorrow, Danny's gonna be hunting, so. Hopefully we get him tonight.
um, we're gonna change our setup a little bit closer that way to where we've been seeing the movement and hopefully Mark can get a shot at them tomorrow. Um, we also saw another doe further out, so they're moving on this side of the, this area. Um, hopefully uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. We may not hunt here in the afternoon just to like let the area cool and uh, not mess it up for the uh, morning hunt. We'll see what, uh, what, what comes of it. Awesome, man. Glad we found them because uh, we haven't really been seeing much game. That right there makes it worth it. You know, not, not every hunt is a harvest. You learn from your hunts. So we're taking a lot from this trip. And uh, whether if we harvest or not, I think it's a, a really good win for us. guys we're uh, on the last hunt the last set of our trip we're uh, basically set up right on top of where we had that big buck come through he didn't really give us a shot last time so we moved up probably like 60 yards if he comes through again should be able to get a shot this time Unfortunately, the wind's not really doing what we want. It's supposed to be blowing back over my shoulder, but it's blowing straight at the camera right now. So, create some complications, but there's still some options, some opportunities if uh, they come in a different direction. So, it's like 8 o'clock. We're going to hang tight. We showed up at 8.30 yesterday, so... crossed. Yesterday we were set up on this pine tree right here and that buck came out 45 yards this way. The doe in the video actually stopped right here. The buck was behind this palm and then right there in the video you can see where he turns this way, sticks his head out behind this palm and then comes back around this way and starts coming over here. So that's why we decided to move to where we're at. And just now that buck came out from over here, went behind these palm trees here, right along this little edge. That would have gave us 10 yards, 
shot from this tree right here. So we're talking about, <clears throat> we're trying to figure out where we can set up our cameras to make sure that we uh, can keep keep a track on this buck and see where he's moving. So we're planning on putting one close to where we sit the first morning and then where we saw him <clears throat> the second day. So we'll probably put four cameras out in this area just to make sure that he's still here in four weeks when we uh, come back out to hunt. Hopefully, if we can see him again, next time we see him, all we have to do is see him. Yeah, because we'll have, it'll be muzzleloader season, and uh, there's some really nice pines in here that you get a mile high on. But the trick is, like, making sure that he's still in the area. But we're going to go ahead and put four cameras out and kind of use those to monitor that's a wrap for today. We're going to set up the cameras and, and get on out of here. <laughs>